For double ribbing, you'll need to cast on a multiple of four stitches. So basically anything in the four times table. But then add another two stitches. So here I've got two times four. I've got eight stitches. That's in the four times table. So I've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Eight stitches. And then you add another two. It's perfectly possible just to have a multiple of four stitches. So you could just have eight stitches cast on. But with ribbing, what's really quite important is that you balance your work and it's quite symmetrical. Because otherwise you'll have sort of a, a ridge on one end and not on the other. So it's possible not to add the plus two stitches to your casting arm. It is possible but you'll need a different technique. For instance, here I've got multiple of four plus the two. So what I would do is I would knit two, purl two, knit two, knit two, purl two, knit two. So I would start on knitting two, end on knitting two, and that's what gives you the symmetry. If you didn't have that end two, for instance, you would start on knit two, end on purl two. So it would be be different on one edge to the other edge and that is not really something people do in ribbing. You can do it um, and what you would do is, let's just ignore those two stitches, you will do knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two and then on the next row you would do exactly the same as you do knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two. You just keep repeating starting on knitting two and ending on purl two. With the extra two, what you do, and this is what the technique I would recommend for ribbing, you start on knit two and you end on knit two, alternating in twos in between. The next row, you would start on purl two instead and go purl two, knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two. So you would start on purl two, end on purl two. The next row, you would do knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two, end on the knit two again. And you just keep repeating that so you alternate between starting on, starting and ending on knit two, starting and ending on knit, um, purl two, starting and ending on knit two, starting and ending on purl two, you just keep repeating for every row. I'll show you that. You knit two to start off with, and then you bring your yarn round to the front for the purling, because obviously the working yarn has to be the for the at the front for the purl, back for the knit. So with the single rib, you would change the yarn from back to front and front to back between every single stitch. This is between every two stitches. So now you purl. And you take your yarn back through the points for the knit two. Back to the front, purl two. And you end on knit two, which is what you started the row on. Like that. And then what you do you start on purl two, the yarn out the front. Two pearls, yarn to the back, knitting two, you 
Yarn. The front again. Pearl two. You end on two pearl. You can see lots of stretch there. Yep. Lots of stretch. You can see ridges that you get with ribbing. Front and back. 